President Obama announces another step toward a green economy, an award of $2.3 billion in tax credits for clean energy manufacturing. The credits were authorized by the stimulus bill, and the awards went to 183 companies in 43 states for facilities ranging from cleaner automobiles to more efficient windows. The president says they will create 17,000 new jobs. The big winners, solar and Tennessee. Executive Editor Margaret Ryan is here with more. So it was a quick but effective speech. <laughs> it certainly was, Susan. The projects are all to be finished before 2013, creating those jobs in the next three years. A cheering thought today when a rather grim-faced President Obama looked at another month of job losses. He noted losses are just 10 percent of the first quarter when he took office, but still not going in the direction he wants. Now, the President said the winning projects in this stimulus program will create not just jobs, but the manufacturing infrastructure needed long term for the U.S. to move to a clean energy economy and for the U.S. to retake the global lead in green energy. Through this initiative, we're awarding $2.3 billion in tax credits for American manufacturers of clean energy technologies, companies that build wind turbines and produce solar panels and assemble cutting-edge batteries. The initiative we're outlining today will likely generate 17,000 jobs and the roughly $5 billion more that we'll leverage in the private sector investments could help create tens of thousands of additional jobs. At the same time, this initiative will give a much needed boost to our manufacturing sector by building new plants or upgrading old ones. And we'll take an important step toward meeting the goal I've set of doubling the amount of renewable power we use in the next three years with wind turbines and solar panels built right here in the U.S. of A. Obama said that $2.3 billion in tax breaks will leverage some $5 billion in additional private money. The White House says that could create up to 41,000 additional new jobs. Now, the biggest slice of the pie today went to solar. 46 solar projects got more than 36 percent of the tax breaks handed out, a total of $841 million. The biggest, the U.S. subsidiary of Germany's Wacker Chemical, got $128.5 million in credits for a new $1 billion polysilicon plant near Chattanooga, Tennessee. Now, Chattanooga is also the site of the largest single grant identified, $150 million in tax credits for Volkswagen's U.S. unit. Volkswagen is building a $1 billion auto plant to make mid-sized sedans, including clean diesel models. Now, the plant is billed as environmentally friendly, and it means 2,000 jobs in Tennessee. Also in Chattanooga, a $63 million credit to Francis Alstom, which is building a plant to make turbines for nuclear and hydro plants, especially the giant 1,700 megawatt turbines needed for the nuclear design of Francis Arriva. Now, altogether, Tennessee plants got about $250 million, more than any other state on the White House list. The White House stressed that while the plant owners might be headquartered outside the U.S., they'd all chosen to build factories in the U.S. and employ U.S. workers. So quite a win for Tennessee and for solar, Margaret. How did wind do today? Well, wind got around 11 percent of the awards. That's oh, about $260 million to uh, three dozen projects. I mean, not bad, but nowhere near you know, what, where solar was. It's hard to be a little more precise because the White House didn't break out all the projects. They, they uh, gave a list that included 46 of them for about half a billion dollars in tax credits um, that were not otherwise identified. Now. That included the $150 million for Volkswagen. So even if you took, even if you said all the rest were for wind, that would be about $350 million. You still can't add that to what wind got and get anywhere near solar. Right. Solar was just a clear winner here. One interesting thing is the, the technologies did range pretty widely. Uh, you know, the president indicated they were talking about things like home appliance, not home appliance, I'm sorry, uh, home windows for weatherization, things like that. Uh, United Technologies got one of the biggest about $110 million. That was for Pratt & Whitney to build a more efficient, more climate-friendly jet engine. Hmm, interesting. Now, a lot of these projects, they're not waiting for these tax credits to move forward. Absolutely. These are uh, things that are basically either right ready to go or they're already underway. I think in the case of those Chattanooga projects, they're ones that are already uh, way beyond the drawing board. Uh, the big factors that the Departments of Energy and, Tre and the Treasury looked at when they evaluated all these applications were job creation, 
uh, you know, low energy and, and greenhouse gases, obviously, but a potential for innovation and quick commercial deployment and a very short project time. Because this is part of the stimulus, they want to see those results, frankly, before the 2012 election. They're clearly, these projects are projects that were going ahead. Otherwise, it, they weren't things that were waiting on the tax breaks to go forward. Right. Okay. So how many applications came in? How did they sort through all these? Well, senior administration officials told us that the government got some 500 applications for the tax breaks. They totaled requests for about $7.6 billion. Um, now, President Obama noted that point, and he says he's included five billion dollars for an extension uh, of this program in the jobs bill that he's sending to Congress. So uh, that was that was kind of news as well today. Uh, as far as how they evaluated it, uh, since October, senior uh, administration officials said that they had 300 reviewers reading all 500 applications and every application got read five times. They had three technical reviews, one managerial review and one financial review. So they, they really tried to give them a really thorough evaluation. And one of the uh, officials said one exciting thing about this was the rate of innovation being moved to commercial deployment that they observed in these applications. It was much faster than they expected to see things taken from almost a laboratory concept to really being ready to build and sell to the public. Right. Okay. Margaret Ryan, thanks for that uh, analysis. And of course, the president's full speech and more of our analysis is available right here at cleanskies.com.